Hello, my friends, and welcome to part 31 of the SpongeBob Square's Pants Bath Bikini Bomb Rehydrate Let's Play series. In today's episode, I'll be doing, um, finish, hopefully finishing off the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Yeah, did I? I need to turn it up a little bit. I can hear it. Now I can. So let's see. Here. So as a reminder, I got the cannons in position. Now I just need to somehow destroy those lasers. Hmm. Gotta figure out a way to destroy those lasers. Um... I don't think talking to Mr. Krabs would help. Yeah, I highly doubt talking to Mr. Krabs would help. Yeah. And I can't destroy them with the bubble crews. I mean, I could try this, but I don't think that does anything. The shinier, the better. Hmm. I hate wasting good vittles. Oh, you just destroy them doing that. How did I miss that the first time around? It's actually really simple. Oh, messed up. But hold on. Where will it put place me? Hold on, what's this? Oh, that's how you get this golden spatula. Oh, cool, and also place me right there with the um, lasers still destroyed. Cool. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, so now I need to be Spongebob in order to do the cannons. So now, it should destroy the ship now, because all the cannons are gone. I mean lasers, not the cannons. The cannons need to be there. What? Oh, is this a boss fight? Or am I sent back to the beginning now? We did it. We got your ship back and defeated the robot. That you did. But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It reminds me of my first Barry trip. But what about our deal? Ah, never make a deal with a boat. Oh, it is a boss fight. Oh, there's Sandy. Is there even such a thing as a sea weasel? Oh, I think it's supposed... Hmm. Yeah, apparently there's a... I mean, it's showing the, um, 
the Pokemon, the that that one Pokemon that goes underwater. I suppose that's that. I guess there's also the Sea Otter, which is kind of close, but like, yeah, there's not really, not really a Weasel. Sea Weasel. There, there's not really an animal known as a Sea Weasel. I think the one thing that may come close is Pokemon, but like, probably not. Like, I don't think SpongeBob is really gonna like be like sp um throwing Pokemon references around. Oh yeah, I gotta go over here to start the boss fight. Dang it. Nice. Hurting the ghost? Oh, I guess I lasso the tail. Doesn't look like I'm just lassoing the tail, though. So you may think, oh, hey, you only got it again three times. This should be easy. Is it? Is it this easy? It's not as easy as you think. Oh, and I think I'm pressing the wrong button, too. It's supposed to be the circle. Oh! You can only actually hurt him when... Uh, when he's doing that sort of thing. If he's in, like, his ghost form, you can't lasso him then. See, that's a problem. Oh wait, maybe you just gotta get close. Or maybe you don't get close, maybe you gotta be far away. Or do you just gotta keep avoiding him until he eventually will do it. Wow, how did I avoid that? I don't twice how are there flies and mold for a bubble That should be the last one, I believe. And if it is, I might as well just leave. Hold on. Oh, I still need to get these two. Goo Tank, Ahoy, and then a path through the goo. So... This one sends me back to the first area. But I don't think the goo's taken care of, so I gotta figure out a way to... To get rid of the goo. Oh, come on! You're not even giving me any time at all to prepare! Oh, man, that was a close one. Luckily, with Sandy, it's really easy to... Um... Defeat that robot. So it sends me back to, yeah, the basically the star area, but only I'm playing as Sandy now, which makes sense since you can play as Sandy during this part. But I don't think like you can really get very far as Sandy. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Um, yeah, you can't even... Yeah, so how am I supposed to do this? 
I need to figure a way to clean the goo, basically. Hold on, maybe there's a way. There's got, there's some way. I think I do need to be SpongeBob though. Yeah, definitely. Definitely need to be SpongeBob for this. Okay. How do I switch back to SpongeBob? I gotta go like this. Somehow I gotta clean up the goo too. See, and then that's how you can get that underwear. Pretty easy, actually. There's another underwear right here. Here's a little checkpoint. That's not popping up. Whatever. Hmm. So... I think I need to revert back to Spongebob. Yeah, maybe I can, like, see if I can get that other one first. This one. Gutank Ahoy. Is this one easier, Sandy? Okay, well, I became SpongeBob. How am I supposed to do this? Apparently it's... Where? Where is it? Gutenko Hoy. So here's the location. Would you stop? I don't want to have to deal with you. What? What? Where is it? Where is it? <sighs> Am I supposed to arrange these in a certain way so I find it? Good. Okay, so I can do like this. And then there's no bun for this one. If you see. There's actually no bun for this one. So... I... So I can't actually hop up like this. And then if I go up like that... I still don't see it. Gutenko Hoy, what the heck? I think it has something to do with maybe those robots, but I have no idea. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I mean, is that something? Oh, that's how you clear up the goo. Okay, so I figured out that part. But how did I get the goo tank ahoy bit? Whatever. Um, yeah, now I can at least get this spatula. Since the goo is gone now. It's another one of those um, timed roly-poly puzzles. Yeah. I don't know if I have time now. Oh yeah, and there's also these little robots too. Wait, what? Oh, I see. You could... Oh, wow. I actually did it. There we go. 
See, that's a little check, a, a little shortcut you can do. And then, do I have to destroy this in order to get one of the other ones? I don't know. I'll try it though. Where is it? What? I don't even see it now. Maybe if I destroy these robots, it'll trigger the other spatula. I don't know though. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, where is that last one? Okay, cool. So I got almost all of them. I have this Gutenko Hoy. Whatever that means. Who knew the spatulas would be the hardest part this time? Usually it's the other way around. Gutenk Ahoy. I don't think I can jump on them. Hmm. And if I was to just destroy them, then that's all that does. I mean, interesting. And there's nothing behind here. Right? I don't think so. Wow, that was a close one. I feel like a new sponge. Goo tanko hoy. What the? See, there's that bottom thing. And it seems like I need to be SpongeBob for this. I don't get it. What? Should I try walking over here? I don't see how this can be right. Apparently you can walk. Huh, that's cool. No, that's nothing. That's kind of cool, though, that you can just do like that. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is it something to do with... Oh, I think there it is. You gotta jump on this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's on this ship here. Wow. That would be like a perfect location for a sock. Wow. Wow. See, it's not... See, that just goes to show you that it's not just socks are being hidden. I mean, that that other spatula on that last area was, like, maybe a little bit out of the way, too. Like, you need to, like, jump on that little, um, cut, um, bumper as well. But, like, that was, like, how to get it. This was just so you can get back here after grabbing the spatula. So yeah, there you go. There's the two for that. So now I'm done with all the spatulas, except for getting the socks, of course, which, of course, um, I have most of them. The ones that I don't have all the socks for, though, are 
Bikini Bottom, I need one more sock there. Need two more socks here. That's a chum bucket. One, two more socks there. One more sock there, and then that's it. So, think like less than 10, which is pretty good. I'm gonna... Yeah, actually, I want to see if I can unlock the theta yet. I'm going to show off the theta. If I can. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, I I'll, I'll do... um. The Patrick socks to give like a better idea of how many I need. Now they're back home. Here's your Bad. I don't speak Italian. If I did the math right, I should have all but one here. Well, here's I don't Which I mean this is already improvement from last time. Like I remember I I missed quite a few socks the last time. And I think it's been long enough that, like, I don't think it's that big of a deal that I looked it up. It's always nice come back to this and see, like, how much better you can do. See, I think I'm only missing six socks now. Hmm. See? Just one more. Missing six socks. There's a total of 80. So... I could go to Mr. Krabs. Where is that last sock anyway? Man, I wonder. Wish I knew. I think I pretty much looked everywhere. Oh yeah, now I should have all the robots unlocked too. Which is pretty cool. All the um, non-boss robots at least shown. If you see here. See? See, and then you can look at details too, which is pretty cool. So you can read them if you want, but I'm not going to read them. G love. <laughs> oh yeah, like love, because it's wearing gloves. That's funny. Chuck, and then just randomly named Chuck. Fodder. <laughs> That's funny. Because it's the most basic of the robots. So it's named Fodder. Bombot. And Plankton wonders why they um, rebelled against them. Of course that's not why, but like... Off. Kind of funny. More of because of his dog than him. Hammer. I, I see, I don't really... I guess it's because it's a hammer that spells ham and because and it looks like ham As I don't know if it's like really all that funny monsoon of course because the weather too blat <laughs> but bought, bought. <laughs> yeah because the little eye laser thing off dog yeah because that's like the sound a dog makes of course tar tar because of tar tar sauce sleepy time because it's always sleeping slick because of the oil chomp bot yeah that makes sense and then of course plankton Plankton's the best. Did Plankton make these? Or was like whoever wrote these like so scared of Plankton that um he he didn't want to say anything bad about him. <laughs> I think I think it's probably the latter. It sounds like the latter. Um 
Yeah, I think I'm going to look and see if I can open up the gallery. And I think maybe I'll like go into more detail of that in the next video. Because like I'm kind of running out of time right now. But yeah, I want to see if I can open it at least. I don't think so. I think I more need more shiny objects. Hmm. Sucks. May I help you? Uh, I need forty thousand. Okay, well that's fine. <sighs> I can't do in this episode. I'll just go over the um verse for say real quick. So, so the verse for today is, I think I already put this, yeah, because I know I was like, it was like going a day ahead. So I think I need to actually do for verse of the day. Oh, this is kind of a long one. Uh, it's more of just like something that King Herod's saying to his people. Um, still kind of cool, but... Actually, I am running out of time, so I think I am just gonna like put in the... In the description. Um, I'll go over the recap still though. Since that shouldn't take too long. So yeah. What I basically did today is like I wanted to, I finished off the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, pretty nice. I figured out how to destroy the lasers, which is, was really simple, actually. And I also, f um, defeated the Flying Dutchman to get that other spatula. Um, which was part of the destroying the laser bit. Um, this one... Was that the one you get for simply reassembling the um, cans to make sure they're flying in the right place? And then. I think. Hold on. Is it this one where, like, it's up at the very top and you need to, like, use a bungee to get up there? I think so. And then these two. This one, you need to, like, um, hit the really big button that, like, shows, like, a bubble cruise. You might not think to hit it at first. I mean, of course, like, I didn't think to hit it at first because it didn't really look like a regular button. But, yeah, that's what you need to do. And then that will, like, um, stop the goo from, like, um, pulling down. And, and then the excess goo's goes somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. Um, and then Gutenk Ahoy. It's actually not really with, like, um, destroying the, uh, got anything to do with the robots it shows. It is in the general area, though. It's, what they should have probably done was show, like, more of the area in which the, um, In which the, um, that one that throws the water, the, the, the water bombs, um, that one, they should have, like, showed that one instead as, like, a little preview. But I guess that might have made it too, a little bit too easy. They wanted to make it a little bit hidden, so they decided to show this instead. Um, but yeah, like, you basically just gotta jump to, like, a boat that's below um that that ship and in, in which that water bomb um robot is on the one that throws the water bombs and then um you can get the spatula from there and then if you want to get up there's like a bumper um beside that boat so anyway um that's the recap and now i'm going to go into the um outro Please like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to ring that notification bell for 
either all of my regular content or on some my personalized regular content if you like you can set personalized notifications by clicking the bell and then clicking on personalize and that's how you can do all as well so with personalized you will only get um the notified about the content that you are actually watching so if you are only watching some of my content that's what you'll be notified of like for example if you're only watching my Balf Bikini Bottom Rehydrated videos or some of um, personalized videos in the future you will only be notified about those games unfortunately you cannot do notifications about specific playlists but that's still better than um, having to be notified about all of my videos um, if you'd like to leave some comments that would be great too that will also help the algorithm that will help get my video out to more people you can leave um, feedback on um, this series anything that happens in the videos here you can also um, leave prayer requests down below if you have any um, if you would like to discuss the verse a little bit share your thoughts on it um, that would be fine too you can also just leave a simple emote that's fine as well um, if you like to like um, give me some advice on how I can make these videos just a bit better that that's fine as well I'm not always going to be following um, that advice but I, I, I do at least read all the comments so um, I will hear you though I may not always um like um go with that um right away whatever that advice may be anyway i hope to see a lot of you in the next video or the next um of uh, the these um spongebob squarepants battle before beginning by rehydrate let's play videos which is always tuesdays and thursdays bye everyone